For those of you new to our channel, we are Rhonda and Joe with RVing with the Maracas. Continuing south, we drove 190 miles from the Croatan National Forest to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. We loved the warm weather and walking on the beach. We especially enjoyed watching the birds line up for dinner at this particular area on the beach. We ventured out of the park and visited the downtown for lunch at Bum's Cafe on the beach. The food was delicious and the atmosphere was excellent. The seating was outside and we had a view of the beach. The next part of the video is a bike tour of the park. It's a beautiful park and we're so glad we were able to stop there on our way south. Myrtle Beach State Park is nestled among a beautiful forest just off of South Kings Highway, Business 17 in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. It is a large park with 312 acres on the beach with 278 campsites for, for RV camping and tent camping. The park was built by the Civilian Conservation Corp and opened in 1936. As stated on Wikipedia, the Civilian Conservation Corps was a voluntary public work relief program that operated from 1933 to 1942 in the United States for unemployed unmarried men. The CCC was part of President Franklin D. Roosevelt's New Deal that provided manual labor jobs related to the conservation and development of natural resources in rural lands owned by federal, state, and local governments. The CCC was designed to provide jobs for young men and to relieve families who had difficulty finding jobs during the Great Depression in the United States. It was a nice park for bike riding and walking. As you can see from the video, it had nice paved trails, raised boardwalks, and a really long parking lot that went on for miles and miles and had beach access throughout the parking area. There was so much to do in the park for guests. There were people fishing on the pier, riding bikes, walking, horseback riding, and geocaching. There was an education center that provided programs and exhibits about natural resources in the area. Mm -hmm. 
We were camped in Site 104 and paid $43 per night. A bit pricey for us. We had electric and water hookups. It rained quite a bit while we were there, resulting in a lot of puddles on our campsite. The leaves were falling and the campsite was a bit messy. Our site was small and there was really no privacy. We loved the park, but not the campsite as much as others. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond.